Hola YouTube, my name is Ricarlino and I'm a wheel addict in the streets of Rome. I'm skating. I'm actually right now on the way from the vert ramp to the street part or the street park from this World Roller Games 2024. Uh, I've been here for like, in Italy for like, I don't know, almost 10 days now. I think it's like, it's been 10 days. And it's been pretty cool. And with these World Roller Games, it's been very interesting to experience the structure. This whole, it, it, it's all very different to me. Like we always had that idea that aggressive inline skating which world skate is actually calling it roller freestyle was this punk culture we didn't want rules and being here it's been i'll call it interesting it's actually very very different because at the end of the day what's been happening is I've been watching a lot of people that I would not expect to see here. I've seen like teams from India, teams from Australia, which is actually Chinese, very young kids that are right now living in Australia. So they have the Australian passport and the way that they can compete is passport based. So whenever you have your passport in a certain place, if you're good enough and if your country allows, you are able to compete and represent that country. So in that sense, I've been finding it very refreshing. I've been also seeing some of the older names in skating. I don't need to mention them, but like, kind of like, I wouldn't say complaining, but having more difficulties to adjust to this new format. This, it's not really a new format, it's more like a lot more rules, like less time to train, uh, yeah, just being very strict, like you can't really wax the, the circuit, you need to have someone waxing it for you. But I, I think they're trying to do this in order to make it equal for everyone and not give advantage to anyone of training more or not knowing that that thing was waxed. So I don't know, it's a bit of a weird one for me as an older generation <laughs> in this sport. But at the end of the day, for all these younger generation that are from countries where they never knew the activity, a lot of them because actually their cultures, in my opinion, of course, their, their cultures weren't really into the whole fun part of it, into the whole punk uh, generation of skaters. And they sometimes lacked a little bit more structure or having goals for parents to support what the kids are doing, you know? Especially with the Asians, that is a big thing. They're, they're very focused and goals driven. So I'm very excited. We're still, we've, we are at the park. Now we're still gonna have street finals. Like it's just about to start, not even finals. The men's haven't even done their qualifications. Also Vert, I just watched the training. It's gonna be a fight for second place. There's no way anyone's gonna take Takeshi. Even if it's really fun to see that you can see the Japanese skaters getting really, really good at it. But we still have some of the old generation skaters such as Mel Martin from Spain, really killing it in the vert ramp. But no one is coming close to Takeshi, so. Yeah, it's a bit of a interesting one. But it's, I would say it's a fight for second place. On the woman though, it's gonna be different. On the woman, there's a lot of good skaters. Some of the Spanish skaters are really good. The Japanese skater is really good. So yeah, extremely interesting. And I'm excited to be here. I'm gonna be doing the live stream again on worldskate.tv. And I just wanted to, to give you guys an update. I've been trying to skate a little bit. Um, right now I'm molding into a, let me see if I can show you this. 
there's a horse pulling me and I think that's the perfect way to finish this video. Maybe I'll just pass the horse because I can't. I got these skates that allow me to. Woo! Traffic is insane in Rome. See you later. Cheers. Boom. Just gave me a ride. Once again, we are here at the Roller Freestyle World Championships World Skate Games Italia 2024, right in the midst of our Roller Freestyle Women's Qualifying Street. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. 